A horrific case of child abuse behind the death of an Oakland County six year old. Tonight, the prosecutor is revealing the trauma Giovanni Jennings endured and the lies she says a couple of adults used to try covering it up. The boy's mother, Elena Jennings, and her boyfriend are each charged with murder and child abuse for what the prosecutor says happened inside a home in Madison Heights. Will Jones is live with what was revealed today. Will. Karen and Damon Wood, or sorry, Kimberly and Damon Wood, Giovanni Jennings allegedly endured is simply heartbreaking. I can't tell you how difficult it was to hear them detail some of these incidents that happened to this boy. Oakland County prosecutor Karen McDonald called it one of the worst child abuse cases that she's ever seen. So here's what we know. Investigators say six-year-old Giovanni Chulu Jennings died from blunt force trauma to his abdomen and a perforated bowel after a lengthy period of confinement and abuse at a home in Madison Heights. They say Giovanni was bound to the wall by using a staple gun to his clothes, forcing his face into a corner. Investigators also alleged the abuse included being shot with a BB gun. They say the boy's two younger siblings witnessed the abuse. His mom, Elena Jennings, and her boyfriend, Daniel Giacchina, are now charged with murder and first-degree child abuse. That's in addition to charges of lying to peace officer, which was filed last week. Investigators say the couple tried to blame the abuse on the boy's biological father after mom called 911 July 30th saying her son was unconscious. Investigators say Giacchino was responsible for the abuse, but mom was aware of it and even at times encouraged it. The couple allegedly shared laughs over the boy living a nightmare. Both Jennings and Giacchino laughed about the photo and Giacchino's use of the staple gun to solve, quote, the problem. According to the text, Chula was being punished in this manner for looking out the window in the pen area. The couple was arraigned this morning and they were denied bond. Coming up at six, we're gonna to talk to the boy's stepfather. He is devastated after hearing what happened today and some of the, those details. He had no idea that this was going on. So we're gonna go into a little more detail about their relationship and his reaction to those charges. But for right now, we're live in Detroit. Will Jones, 